Halpex mole traps. Ouch. Like his eyebrows. Hello. Hello. You come through. You've got a nice little moustache and everything, haven't they? Hello. I don't want to get accosted by a uh, alpaca. Are you alpacas or, or llamas? What are you? What are you? Let's see how to set them. So what we want to do is we want to use the dibber. And what I'm trying to do is I want to find an actual run in between the mole hills. It might be a bit of a challenge here, Rick, because it's incredibly clay soil here. Oh, there we go. There's one run. One part of the run, I should say, not one. Ah, there we go. Not bad going at all, eh, eh, that? Not bad going at all. So what we want to do now is I want to make a nice little incision into the grass. Like the clay here is so sticky, so sticky. <coughs> it really is some sticky, sticky, sticky soil here. Well, that's worked out quite nicely because what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure that up, maybe a little bit bigger on the one side. You want to literally just be big enough for the actual trap to go into. And then I'm going to struggle to set this uh, this trap. These traps, by the way, these are a new and much improved trap by Lodi UK. Uh, they're with their rake and ra range. Lodi UK, they're good friends of ours. They helped us out when we were on uh, on Channel Five. There should be a little link to that there now. I would think. hopefully hopefully if we've got the tech right this time. Um, and they made these traps but the springs wasn't, uh, wasn't strong enough on them. So they've redesigned them a little bit, put in a bigger string, and us mole trappers absolutely love them now, if we can get them in with our cold hands. And they're quite a simple trap. And the way they work, you want to get the, the actual trigger mechanism, so it's just about hanging on there, just like that. Sometimes we'll straighten these out as well, but today I'm not going to bother because I'm that freezing cold, to be honest, as you can probably see from my breath. But uh, so then that goes into the run, put the jaws in. So this is a Talpex trap. We'll put that in there like that. And we want this a little bit wider so that the trigger mechanism itself can actually flick around quite easily. But then what we want to do, we want to make sure that this soil is it's not bad soil, to be honest, for, uh, for, for such a high clay content. But what we'll do, we'll actually fill the hole right up with this fine, we'll make it nice and fine, make sure there's no stones in it whatsoever. And then what happens is when the mole comes pushing through to clean this tunnel out, because what they'll think is one of its little alpaca friends over there, what, what will happen on this kind of soil all the time, because you can see how soft it is, when the mole comes through, when it comes through the run from this mole hill to this mole hill, it'll just think that one of these guys has, has collapsed the, the, uh, the tunnel with its hooves. I presume they're hooves. They're not feet, are they? <laughs> I don't know what an alpaca has. Does anyone else know? Is it feet or what? What strange creatures they are. <laughs> what strange little creatures they are. So, yeah, so that's basically what happens. We'll give that a little... So that the jaws, so the jaws can actually move quite freely. And then what we do with these, because there's not a lot above the ground that you can actually see, look, is there? So what we do is we give them a marker stick. And then when we come back, we'll be able to find that quite easily. And hopefully we'll find that it'll be sitting like that on the top and nice and open. Let's set another one down here, because I think there's some more molehills right down the bottom, Rick, as well. So let me show you how to set these. So basically, the trigger goes over the top, 
and that quite simply then goes into that little hole and we push that in and that's it set really really simple to use okay but now we've got to get that not in the molehill this time what we're going to do with these what i like to do anyway and everyone's different everyone's got their own little little ways of doing things this soil here is very you can actually hear it sucking on the <laughs> that's how wet this soil is but what i'm trying to find in between these two molehills there's going to be a run or a tunnel and i want to find it Oh, oh there we go there we go as we can see like i said on the last video we did with the scissor traps basically what happens the the bell end of the dibber goes drops through the hole and as soon as it goes through boom, it, it, it just goes through nice and soft oh there we go so there's the tunnels in there somewhere oh, this grass is very very tough grass here and that's what we're looking for though so there we go so the, the mole run i'm gonna get that grass out of there and this tunnel itself is actually like that i can tell that because of the way that the uh you can see how rich it is you can see how rich it is it's full of these are brandlings these little worms brandlings which are great for fishing and they're also great for mole catching. They're still watching us. <laughs> yeah, we've got our little... So we've got our YouTube viewers on our alpacas. Look, he's turned around and said, yeah, we're not watching yet. We know you're watching. We know you're watching. Okay. So now what I need to do... Now what I need to do... I only want this hole about as wide as the trap, basically. So this goes into there, we'll measure. No, nope, need a bit more clay out of there. Because remember, we want the mole to be travelling through the centre. And then what we're going to do, get this in a little bit out of that side as well. This clay soil, sticky and slippery all at the same time. Because we want the jaws to be able to close really efficiently. So that's what we do we make sure there's no soil no no stones in the soil and then what we do to fool them all we get this beautiful soil this beautiful clay soil and what we do we take that and we start to fill in around the trap now the great one of the great things about these and why we use them on this farm is because this is a really bad place for getting what we call backfills and a backfill is when the mole pushes forwards so they've got their big paws on the front and what they do is they push forwards down the tunnel and they push the soil up out of the mole hills they literally push it up out into the in, into the surface when they're cleaning out of the the tunnels that's what you get when you get the mole hill what these this moles are going to believe is that one of these chaps over here or ladies whichever they are i don't really know the alpacas their hoofs they'll because this is such soft soil it'll squash down and it'll go into one of the the tunnels and squash it and fill it with soil so what the mole will think is ah one of them alpacas has been along here and he's trodden on on the on my on my turf and what it'll do it'll push through there and what will happen is as it comes through that plate that's in the middle it, it, the back of the mole and all the soil will push that up and it'll set the trigger off so but these are absolutely awful i think these were made in i wonder where i wonder where these were made when i bought these china you got it china always remember as well we need to mark where these are because there's not a great deal of let's give it a little wiggle as well i can actually get a little bit more soil in that i think so we don't want to let any air pockets in there, if we can. A little tap down. I think I'm happy with that now. But obviously there's not a lot of trap there to see, so what we do, put in one of these marker pegs. And we'll come back in a day, two, three, well, we're passing really, 
might even be a week on this one. I'll get one more trapping down there, Rick. As I say, the, these have really been improved. Um, these are brand new, as you can see, from our friends at Lodi. Lodi based in King Swinford. We're based in Stourbridge. King Swinford is literally three miles down the road. So rather handy for us. And any new products, when they've been improved like this, we're always willing and happy to uh, come out and, and trial them and see how, see how we get on with them. But a lot better, a lot better quality, a lot better quality. I'm not sure where they're made. I'd like to say they're made in England, but we'll... <laughs> I'm not going to say things unless I know it. They should be made in England. Go Brexit. So we get one in this end one here as well. That doesn't say, does it? <laughs> Bit naughty of Lodi. And this one's an ideal situation here, really, because you can see there's two molehills here. I can almost see the run there, look. Uh, maybe not. But there should be a, a run in between these two molehills. I think that could be it. No. He says. Oh, there we go. And and quite often, quite 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 often, you'll be thinking, oh, the tunnel will be between the molehills like that. Not necessarily so. As you can see on this one, it's right to the side. Let me get that away from the alpacas. They seem interested again. <laughs> what on earth is that one doing? <laughs> okay, so again, we've got the tunnels. The tunnels going that way and that way. That way and that way. Clear it out a little bit more. Oh, this soil is such hard work. that way. Actually what we've got here Rick, we've got ourselves a little freeway. <laughs> it's all dirty words isn't it? It's all dirty words in the mole catching world. But I think I'm going to chase this one back, see where this one goes. I think that might be going to a to a dead end. No, oh, maybe not. You can actually see beautifully there, look, the tunnels. And it's, uh... So what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to set a trap going between those that tunnel and that tunnel, and I'm going to set one in that one as well. You must make sure that everything can move the way it wants to move as well. So that's one in, into there. Push that back a bit so that the jaws can open properly. And I'll push that back in a minute once we've got this one in. What I like to do as well is I'll put a little wall in between the two, like so. I don't know if you want to pick that up, Rick. The great thing about clay soil is you can you can manipulate it as to the shapes that you want, look. So I'll we'll put that in there. There's one. And I'll put that. It's incredible how the mould gets through this place all so they easily. Are, they are amazing creatures, aren't they? They really are amazing creatures. I've seen I've seen them go through hardcore under, underneath roads. I have, uh, you know, uh, they're quite quite an impressive little beastie. Proper name, Talpa Euripia, as in Talpex, Talpa X. As in European mole. As in European mole, yes. <laughs> or X European mole. It's a bit like the old, uh, the old parrot sketch, isn't it? It's an X mole, an X parrot. And again, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it a nice little tunnel again. And I want to get a bit more in that side there. 
make that wall in between the two a little bit better a little bit stiffer and then we'll give the mole its little job of cleaning its tunnel out fill it back in make sure there's no stones in it because the stone will get stuck in between those jaws a little wobble Wobble. Oh, plenty more room in that one, look Rick. Plenty more room in that one. We don't want to get too much on these as well because if it freezes at night, then obviously the traps won't be able to go off freely. So, and because we've got two traps in, two markers. And annoyingly, we're out of traps and we've still got some more moles to do down the bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get some doofus traps and we'll put them in down the bottom and we'll show you that in a minute. Or on the next video. Don't forget, subscribe. Let's have a look what we've got then. Have loaded Talpexes worked. Oh, no. No, because you can see the, that they're all back still together. Ah, look at this little three-way one that we had here. Okay, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for right there. Okay, so that one, the bars are still together. This one, have we? Yes. One little velvet mole. As you can see, it's coming there. Let's push the paddle up, the trigger, and then bang. One mole that's no more. And he's a really small one and really, really black. Beautiful, really, aren't they? But as always, we stick him back in the hole. And we'll take all these traps up. And the next video we're going to do is going to be. What should we do next? Poontangs po or poontangs or. I don't know, trap lines. I oh, know, give us some suggestions what you want us to do it on and we'll uh, we'll get some and we'll put them in the ground and we'll see what we can come out with. And as you can tell, mole trapping is what we do amongst many other things. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you love our stuff. Thank you for watching.